around the clock is an excellent core exercise that is typically done on the BOSU, which I will demonstrate in a moment. But I'm going to demonstrate on the floor or on a mat just in case you don't have access to a BOSU. So what you want to do is you want to have your feet on the ground, knees bent, lay on your back, have your head, neck, and shoulders raised, and your hands behind your head. And you want your, your upper body to go around in the, in the um, movement of a clock, like your, the second hand on the clock. So you're going to raise up. Your right elbow is going to go to your right knee. And as you go back, keep your elbows open. Go back and go around. And then back up. Use your feet to stabilize. Left elbow to left knee. Back down. And then go back around to that right knee. Opening up your chest and your elbows. Back down. And back to your left knee. Remember to keep your elbows and your chest open. Back. And then back around to your right knee. Now they're a little less challenging on the BOSU, but they're more effective. I'll demonstrate. On your BOSU, you just want to find your balance in the middle of your back. Have your feet about shoulder width apart. And you're in that same position. And remember, you're moving around like, like, a, like a hand on a clock. So you're going to reach up, right elbow to right knee. Go all the way back into a circle. Circle around to your left knee. Back down, keeping your elbows wide the entire motion. Right elbow to right knee. All the way back. Left elbow to left knee. If you feel like you're sliding, just push yourself up using your feet. So left elbow to left knee. Keep your elbows open. Go back. Right elbow to right knee. Back. Now, around the clocks are an excellent way to get a total core workout. You'll definitely feel it in your lower abs especially and in your lower back. If you have lower back problems, you may not want to do it until you strengthen and stabilize your back a little bit more.